Hey everyone, Steve here from PC Budget Solutions and it, it's it's been a little rough. So I don't want to make excuses, but the reality of the situation is, is when you lose somebody very close to you, it's not just a one and done thing. There's a lot of things that goes with it. You have to make sure family members are taken care of, especially when you lose a spouse uh, like my dad did. Uh, you want to do as much as you can, spend a lot of time with him. and. My last class before my master's has taken a lot more work than any of the other class I've done. And it's just, it's just been very busy. Wife, new job, new car, uh, just a lot going on. So I, I do have to give you guys an apology. Uh, there's not gonna be a lot of content rapid firing. So just, there's gonna be a lot of distance between releases. I uh, giveaway still going on. So I'm, st I'm still doing that, don't worry. But um, a gentleman uh, over at Scythe, actually, uh, and I'm actually going to pull up his name here. He uh, he reached out to me, and he wanted um, to uh, he wanted to see if I was interested in reviewing some products. So uh, let me pull up his name here, so I can give him a big uh, big shot here. Jerry uh, from Scythe actually sent me two review samples. Uh, actually shipped directly to me, no payment, no anything. And uh, today we're going to be looking at one of them, and that is the Mugen Mugen M U G E N five. Uh, so we have this one, and we have one other one. So let's see what's in the box, and then <laughs> I have to tear apart two computers to do this, but they did send it to me, so it is what it is. I'm going to tear down two computers and show you how to install it on both AMD and Intel. Stay tuned. There's another Scythe review cooler. I think a PC cooler, and then probably sometime in June there's going to be another PC cooler showdown. So I'm really excited about that. But let's see what's coming in this box. So I've actually not reviewed a Scythe product before. I know they make good fans, um, but I just it never really became uh, something of importance. Uh, but when they reached out, of course I would love to dip my tone is something new so this looks to be the mounting hardware we will take a look at that <clears throat> the fan comes separate it's actually sitting between here and a piece of soft foam so definitely good job there and it looks to be the cooler itself is shipped ugh, with soft foam there we go perfect soft foam on both sides and then let's go ahead and take a look at the mounting. So, so it looks like what's going to have to happen in most scenarios is, since there, there's two screws, is the AM4 and the Intel are going to have, uh, most likely AM4 backplate existing fine, but the Intel is going to probably have a backplate. But what I really like about this is this has six heat pipes. I'm actually thinking it's going to perform really well. Um, I'm curious, oh, it doesn't have RAM clearance, so uh, that's actually interesting depending on how you mount it. Um, I mean, you could essentially mount this up a little bit higher if need be, um, or you can actually, oh, that would be my apologies if you mount it this way. So we actually might do that. We'll kind of see, depends on the motherboard. Um, but, oh, excuse me, my apologies. This is VRM clearance, I'm sorry. So if you look at the way it's designed, it actually comes up this way to give you RAM clearance on this side. So if you if you think about it, there's really not much that could happen with RAM clearance. Okay, so assembly time. Sorry, microphone died. I'm kind of done with that. This is the back plate. The padded part is actually, it's not really, really padded, but it's actually going to go on the other side of the board. And what's really neat is lining up is a cinch because look lines up with these two little knoblets right here perfect just like that now it's not perfect um you still have to maneuver it around a little bit to get the line up the way you want it but it makes it a lot easier from a guide standpoint there we go i'm sliding on that back plate by the way so i'm not actually sliding on the board and you're going to take these screws and just going to go right into the back plate like that. Make sure you have a thread going. And it's best to do this on a cross pattern. It'll make life a lot easier. Don't try to over tighten these. There we go. 
that was slipping because it wasn't all the way down. So that's good. Uh, at this point, you want to probably apply thermal paste. You know, do the dot. I'm not going to waste it here. Um, just you know, food for thought. And I've already made this mistake once. I actually have thermal paste in my hand. Um, this piece, where it actually ties down into, goes on the outsides. Do it on the insides. It won't work. <laughs> so we'll start this one here. Get it most of the way down, but not all the way. We'll get this one going over here. We'll just get this one all the way down here. This is the included screwdriver, and it's really useful in the next stage. So don't don't over tighten these. Just you know, FYI, you want to be careful with that. So I am going to loosen this a little bit. There we go. I want these to be tightened in a very similar fashion. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. What's really nice is from the first run I did, which failed horribly. Um, well, actually, it was because the microphone stopped working. I'm kind of done with wireless for now. Uh, I learned a lot, so I learned how not to do it. <laughs> but I digress. So let's get this one all the way down. Then we'll get this one all the way down as well. Then we'll get the heat sink on. So the cool thing is, is that it has a cutout here for tall VRMs. As you can see, even with a fan, there's no issues with fan clearance. So that's really neat. Then this actually has a hole up here that the screw can go down into, or screwdriver. And you'll want to make like, yeah, three or four small quick turns. And then probably, you know, double or triple that over here. And then go back over here. Get most of the way down. And then probably go over here and go all the way down. It has a pretty hard stop right there. So there's not more turning there. And then same thing here. Perfect. I've never seen these clips go in the front. So it actually hooks through here. And what's cool is they like hook and I actually compress on the rubber. So it makes it easier when it comes to mounting. I tried it in the back and I'm like, whoa, that does not line up right. So, so there's a couple things you can do. There'd be no reason to raise it. So obviously the RAM with the tall heat sinks is not ideal. Um, but you know, it doesn't block it much. But we're gonna do we're gonna do some testing on it, but let's let's take this apart and let's put in the AMD system next. Okay, so pretty much done removing almost everything I need to. So for AMD there's Kind of like a preface thing you have to do, and that is take off the screws here and remove the mounting. Now, I'm going to take, I guess, and say, do these. I should probably read these directions. I really should. Because if not, of course, it's, it does say it's for M4. Okay. Uh, yes, you remove that tray. No, it looks... Oh, yeah, it is different. Okay. I was like, wait a second. It looks to be the same. No. These. Now, what I'm curious about is... He's supposed to go in there. I'm taking a shot, guys. Let's see how correct I am. Okay. That one's there. Let's find out if. It looked like that's what that called for, so that's why. Well, it called for these screws, but it, it looked like it called for the screws under it. But I think I just quickly looked at it incorrectly here. There we go. There we go. Now, 
Don't forget to remove this piece. I'm not going to do it here, but just don't forget. And let's see if I am correct. Yes! I am correct. So this look, this was actually even easier than Intel. AM4 mounting more times than not is actually a little bit easier than Intel from my experience. It's not always the case, but I haven't had a lot of difficult AM4 mounting. A lot of it has to do with the fact that it has a back plate. So that's something to consider. And then And then these clips go through the front, just like that. They actually extend back here, and these actually hold in place. It's really nice. And then you can simply pull these back into place on both sides, just like that. And you could actually have tall RAM, and it would still be perfectly fine. That is cool. We got to see what the performance like is on this, but that'll be for another video. So. That is the unboxing, review, and installation of, what was it, the Scythe Megan Mugen MUGN5, uh, six heat pipes, as you can see, without looking at the directions except once. Um, it was easy. I, uh, I like AM4 mounting a little better, but that's generally AM4. But um, I have high expectations for this cooler. I have another Scythe cooler and a PC cooler. And then we're probably going to do a cooler showdown again, but that's because everybody keeps wanting me to review these. So I suspect that's going to be in June. Uh, at the time of this video going up, uh, the giveaway for the PC Cooler fan should still be going on. Check out that video, like it, subscribe, and leave a comment on what you would do with them. Just be very cognizant of for it to work any 3-pin um, ARGB 5 volt for it to work. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but link to this in the description below. Uh, as always, guys, like if you liked it, dislike if you dislike, get subscribe, leave a comment. And as always, guys, this is Steve from PC Budget Solutions, and I'll see you all later on down the road.